Come on.
I would say if we had hope only in this life, or this life only, we'd be of all men most miserable. Right. Amen. Amen. Your, your hope was only in what you see today as the world condition is. I'd be working. Amen. 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 Brother Randy, I'm not, I'm not working. Praise Amen. the Lord. Because I know, well, I better take that back. In our fleshly side, we get worried. Yes, sir. You're right. Amen. Because, hey, you don't know what tomorrow holds. You don't know what our government's going to do. You don't know what plants are going to put on us. And you don't know what you're going to have to do or face before we get out of here. Amen. Yeah. But he said, when you see all these things come to pass, he said, look up, because your redemption for all time. Yeah. Amen. For the children of God. Hey, this is this is not the end for nobody. Amen. This is either a place to begin to live or right. a place to begin to Come die. On, preacher. Amen. Yeah. I'm glad, Brother Taylor, that Amen. I chose to live. Amen. 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 That conviction power of God in my life. I decided. The amazing part is it's not, it's not for just one here and yonder. The Bible said it's for whosoever will That's to right. come. And the Holy Ghost comes to everybody. Amen. You may have been born in church, raised in church. You may not have ever been in church, but there ain't nobody in hell tonight that didn't hear something about Jesus Christ of Nazareth because right. he would not be, amen, just God to send anybody to hell and them say, Brother Albert, I didn't hear nothing about it. Everybody yeah. in hell has made a choice whether or not they want to follow Jesus or go after the things of the world. That's right. Amen. Preacher. You may be here tonight and you're standing. He said, why hold you between two opinions? That's what the writer said. Yeah. If God be God, let's serve Him. But if Baal be Baal, let's serve Him. Uh, well, the writer said they called on Him and called on Him, uh, leaping on the altar and cut themselves. And nobody showed up in the name of Baal. Right. the old man of God began to call on the real God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. But the Holy yep. Ghost will find you. Yeah. 
Amen. And I'm thankful tonight. So you pray for me. Amen. Just a few minutes. I'm going to give you my text before that I read. Amen. And I'm going to preach tonight if the Lord will help me. Amen. It is not going to be easy, but it's possible. Amen. It ain't going to be easy, but it's possible. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it, the elders obtain a good report. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the Word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous God, testifying of his gifts, and by it, he being dead, yet speaketh. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. By faith, no one being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and be heir of the righteousness which is by faith. That's all that I'll read tonight. May God bless you for standing. You may be seated. And I've already told you tonight that what I'm going to preach on, it may not be easy, uh, but it's possible. Now, amen. The Christian walk is, uh, it's not, there's a lot of people that will tell you, amen, that uh, a lot of different things. But if you're a real Christian and a real, amen, blood-bought child of God, everything in life. Now, when you get saved and God changes you, you become a stranger in this world. Amen. You become a pilgrim and a stranger. Amen. You know the yeah. problem that a lot of people have. Amen. They are in one day and out the next, in one day and out the next. I yeah, can tell you what it is. Uh, they've not surrendered their whole life unto God because when God, amen, comes in your life, there's going to be a change made. That's right. The world is going to see, amen, there's somebody living on the inside different uh, than I've ever seen. Now, amen. it don't make no difference. I've been, amen, in a lot of rough neighborhoods working. And, amen. They said people will go in uh, where the, the jump piles are and, and they'll take track holes and they'll clean it up and they'll knock the old buildings down and uh, they'll erect 
Conference and they come up there and they plant bushes up in front of the junkyard. I don't try to hide the junk. Hey, man, you know what, Brother Homer? Oh, the junk's still there. Hey, man, you can look through the cracks in the, in the bushes. Some redneck come and cut all the trees down. Hey, man, so the other community really didn't care. Hey, man, who, took, who liked their junkyard and who did it? Hey, man, everybody yeah. knows about the junkyard. Hey, man, you can, you can try to get religion. Amen. It ain't nothing but a wreck. Yeah. 
Amen. They got what they wanted, but they lost what they had. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So, Brother Ethan, I've decided to go with Jesus. Yeah. Amen. I've decided to go with Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nobody said it's going to be easy. Oh, but bless his holy name. Amen. I wasn't going to get ahead of myself if I ain't careful. I was over there in Lowe's today. I'm going to build, build a little old shed up at the house. And I put some chickens and sheep in. And so I was making up a, a materials list in my head of what I needed to get. And you go down the aisle of Lowe's. I'm going somewhere. Stay with me. Yeah.
That's right. Amen. You're going to ride on what you build. Yes, sir, preacher. Yeah, come on. If you build it on compromise, it's going to leak. Yeah. Amen. It's going to leak. Somebody said you don't have to live that claim. Do what you want to. You get one chance at this. That's right. One chance, and when you get to judgment, amen. It's almost like we live in a time where people think Uncle Bob, they're going to just slap, go to God and say, Hey, now wait a minute, no, no, that ain't the way it is. Let me tell you how it is. Yeah, yeah, you ever Preach. See anybody get hired? Yeah, and come they on, like ain't no more than a supervisor on the first day, and they don't even know which end of the bench you're supposed to ride with. Amen. Their attitude is, Hey, I'm going to heaven, and I don't care what nobody says. Amen. You know what the man said and made the Titanic. I'm
and the leader that was in the village, the chief, was very, very anti-God. Hated God. They kept trying, trying to reach these people. Didn't have no luck. Finally, one missionary reached this one man. He accepted Jesus and started telling everybody. The other people started, started coming to Jesus. His family got saved. His wife and two little children. The man in the village got wind of it that he was the man who started it. And he called in front of him and all the council. And he said, Denounce your faith, or I'm going to kill your children. There's no way that could be easy. No. But instantly, hold right there, just a minute, Greg. I'm going to see the verse I saw. Let's hold right, Steve, just sing. Instantly standing in the face of death and the archers standing ready and his two little babies. This song was birthed out of the mouth of that Christian. I have decided to follow Jesus. Yeah. My faith yeah. is in Him. 
Amen. And I don't know what we'll have to face before we get to heaven. Right. My grandpa Wheeler said on his deathbed, he said, last night I had a dream. And he said, there's a man coming, got me by the hand. In his deep dark bed. I didn't see his face. He held my hand while I crossed that path. David said, yeah, go I walk through that path. The shadow of death, he said, I'll fear no evil. For he said, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff. They comfort me. Hallelujah. It may not be easy. Man. Do you reckon Noah come out with a lasso? Started chasing them lines? Oh no. He was just obedient. He did his part. And he just stepped out of the way. The word of God went into the ears of the impossible. He started breaking them in. All you need to do, Christian, is just be faithful. Do your part. 120 years went by, Mary. But one day when God shut the door in the first clap of thunder, Brother Johnny, I bet you Noah raised his hands and said, I was so happy. I was so happy that I decided to listen to you, God. The world thinks we're crazy, but I'm so happy. I'm so happy yeah. that I decided to follow Jesus. You wait for that trumpet sound and you will really be yeah. glad. following Jesus wholeheartedly. You better, you better get ready. You better get in. Amen. 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 Time is Amen. so short. This thing's unraveling so fast. Like a Amen. snowball going downhill. You say, oh, I was saved when I was a little boy or a little girl. And I'm fine. Now, wait a minute. Have you been living for Jesus? Yeah. In judgment, he's either going to say, I, I don't know. Or he's even going to say, I never do. Boy, it's going to be sad. You remember his backslid? If you'd have made him, he'd say, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know him. But he might have just said, but I do remember when you was in there and you got to look at the world. And you decided to follow them instead of me. I'm sorry it's too late now. If that's you, you ought to thank the God of heaven. Yeah. You ought to thank the God of heaven that God sent somebody in your life that got you to turn around and look at everything you lost and the, the great Rose of Sharon said, well, just come on back. Yeah. Just come on back. I'm so thankful for second, third, fourth chance. We serve the great God. If you're here tonight while we all stay. You're either going to follow Jesus or you're not. Nobody said it's going to be easy. Hey, when you've been out there in the world and you've got your little clique of friends, friends are good. Yeah. Yes, they but are. But you decide you've had enough of the swap out of the hog pen that they're eating out of. Now, you can't keep hanging around them and expect not to eat out of salt that we eat. Amen. So you got to make the choice here. I want to go to heaven or do I want to hang out with these same friends and everybody go to hell together? Or do I want to turn and say, all right, God, I have decided to follow Jesus. Nobody said it's going to be easy. Brother Homer can testify to the fact after 28 and a half years of drugs, after he first got saved, since he was praying for him, God sent him a friend. He'd have to go to that camper and shut the door, and get away from everybody. Because the pull of them drugs and them withdrawals was eating on him. Why well, he said it's gonna be easy. But was it possible? The world Amen. says it can't happen. But God says we've been all things possible. Amen. Hey, I'm gonna tell you something. Amen. God may let you go back later and witness to that crowd. But Preacher, I'm miserable. 
I'm miserable trying to live two lives. That's horrible. When you're always looking over your shoulder, like fishing behind no trespassing signs, always looking over your shoulder to see if somebody's looking. Amen. That's somebody tonight that you need to say, I decided. Somebody's watching you. Somebody's watching you. Somebody's going to laugh at you. But old Noah kept driving nails. If they, he may have had to carve out his own nails, cut his own trees. He had a family that was waiting in the balance. I'm just going to keep working. I'm just going to keep working. If that's you tonight, why don't you come and make a decision tonight? I'm going to follow Jesus. I'm going to follow Jesus. If your friends come with you, so be it. But you need to make it up in your mind. Though none go with me. I still will follow. Amen. Somebody needs to pray tonight. Somebody needs to, somebody needs to come and rededicate your life. Somebody needs to come and fall on your knees and get right with God. You're God, you, you and God are at odds with one another. You don't want to meet him face to face at all. You want to meet him face to face with no condemnation. Knowing when you lay down at night, I've done my very best to live upright before God. Amen. I, 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 I search my life. And Lord, I've not compromised nothing. I've tried to do my best. If I die before I wake, I'll see you in the morning. Yeah. Amen. But if you go to bed tonight and you know all these things in your life, it's not supposed to be right. You know you've been living in sin and you're not ready to go. Preacher, trying to scare me? I am. Because it's scary. It's scary. Why don't you come? Because he'll make you possible. Why don't you come? Why don't you come? Abraham! Take Isaac. Offer him up. Oh, that'd be great. That's, that'd be great. Anybody can do that. You're crazy. You're crazy. The Bible said he believed God would raise him from the dead. He was going to do it. I think. I think. Hey, some of you got Isaacs in your life. You need to come and lay them on the altar. Give them up. Hey, Satan's just holding some of you back. You need to come and give it to God. Come on right now.